Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 series of Depravity, where today I have gone ahead and brought us over to the Harbor Master Hotel so we can make our way over to Mass Bay Medical, which apparently has a gunner controlled ammo manufacturing factory inside, which is interesting to have it inside mass bay medical but oh well the system has failed it will be completed so that we can help out murphy here though ha boy i completely forgot that this place was covered in freaking bandits when i decided to fast travel here they are all dead now of course before i even pulled out my gun murphy is pretty tough actually i think he killed two of them on his own which is pretty nice having him along i think he'll be quite useful today but uh the others not too shabby harley took one out with a gun and Alerios, I don't think he got a single kill because, well, everyone else had ranged weapons. So, oh well, Hilarios, you'll still be good cannon fodder for me. But let's start heading over to Mass Bay Medical and ooh, take those while we leave. Heck yeah. And go take on some gunners. Yeah, why would it be in Mass Bay Medical? You'd think they'd build it somewhere where there'd be more... Oh yeah, there was a super mutant I saw there. Hmm. Where there'd be more manufacturing capability? Not a hospital? Like maybe an old factory or something? Oh well, oh well, let's go find out what they've got going on here. And of course eliminate them all for the good of the commonwealth. Good times. Alright, gunners, how many of you are around and how how much of a problem are you gonna cause me? Well, so far, only the one. Well, everyone else is up top. Well, sounds like we've got some others around, though. Alright, alright. Over by the front door. No? Oh, there you are. I thought I heard you, Mr. Gutsy. Naughty, naughty. And, of course, a miss. Oh, he moved. Okay, stop moving, please. I need to kill you. Yeah, Larios is <laughs> running in. Nah, he's got it sorted. Where are the others? They're all up there, aren't they? Surprisingly, no. They must be even higher up. Oh, I got shot from somewhere over... Okay, before we actually go to the turret, um... Murphy, how'd you get in that bus? <laughs> Stop trying to kill me, will weird. Ya? Very weird. Have you not taken out that gutsy... Really oh, there you go. Good job. Funeral. Took you long enough. Jesus. Yeah, how did Murphy get inside that bus? <laughs> Alright, we'll ignore the rest of the people out here. It'll be problematic later, I'm sure, but yeah. They're too high up on the roofs. I don't care. We'll just go inside and take care of the ammo production stuff. Still, though, confused why it's in a hospital. <laughs> I mean, surely down by the wharfs or something, there'd be maybe some old manufacturing facilities or something like that that they could use instead. Okay, there was a person there. I was correct to throw the thing, and he's almost dead. Nice. Now he's dead. <laughs> Alright, chuck one up there. Asshole. Chuck a couple, just in case. I'm used to a little pain. Did some of them get down here with us? Oh, God, yes! Oh, Lord and Sultron. Okay, looks like everyone has it sorted. Good, good, good. Thank you, guys. Oh, I hate Sultrons. They are a pain. Alright, looks like everyone else is upstairs. Let's at least go loot this conscript. There we go. Flashlight on too. This place is pretty dark. Eh, nothing else really of value here. All right. Well, to the stairs. And let's make our way up this place. Been a while since we've been in Mass Bay Medical. Whoop! Have a gift. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I damaged any of them. Oh, never mind. They were. They were. Wonderful. All right, someone's getting stabbed by Alarios somewhere. Who got downstairs? You know what, Alarios, handle it, handle it, buddy. Finish him off, please. I would appreciate that. Tosido, -do, dipshit. Tosido, -do, dipshit. Is that honestly what you just said, Murphy? I mean, okay. <laughs> Weird. But I guess you do you. All right, up we go. Ooh, we got someone right here. Die, Corporal! Oh, he threw a grenade before he died. There we go. There we go. Well, and I got back one of mine. 
Oh god, now we gotta continue going up. I always... Oh, wait, nope, here's stairs. We're good, we're good, we're good. This is always one of those buildings I always get a little bit lost in. But, hey, we did it. <laughs> good work, guys. And to Medical Center Station North. All right. Hmm. So wait, where exactly is this going? Is it the station? Ah, well, we'll find out when we get outside. <laughs> eh, I still think it's an odd place for them to have their weapon manufacturer. You actually think it would be in GNN, you know, their main primary base that is the most well defended by them. Oh no! Wow, I didn't hit him one single time. Well, there we go. And I'm on fire a little. <laughs> just a little, though. Just a little. And... Oh, my God. I'm not shooting well today. Okay. Oh, thank God. He didn't get in my way. Yes, it wasn't the medical station. It was in... Or, well, it wasn't the medical center. It was in the train station. Yeah, and that seems like this should be in GNN. <laughs> You know, they're... Ooh, hello. Look at all those shipments. Oh, how much do those weigh? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're shipments. They don't weigh anything. I always forget about that. Heck, yeah, I'll take all of you. You're useful. Nice. But, yeah, you'd think they'd put something so important in, like, their most well-defended place in the Commonwealth. Oh, well. Take the whole ammo press. Wow, we fit that in our pocket, huh? <laughs> Hey, Murphy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> nice shooting. You still in one piece? Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, d d yeah, you know, I could, I could always use a drink. Yeah, I'll go with that one. I could use a stiff drink after all that. Let's get this equipment back to Hancock. Then I'm gonna hit the third rail for a bit. You're welcome to join me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, he took the ammo press. Now it's in his pocket. All right, so we just go back to Good Neighbor. Got it. And fast travel up. Neat. That mission didn't take long. Yeah, it really seems like they should have had that a lot more defended. Something as important as ammo manufacturing in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Yeah, it's important and very, very useful. That someplace you would have it someplace that would be very, very well protected. And not just by two guards on a metro station. <laughs> Oh, we're actually taking it straight to Hancock, huh? Oh, God, I have that one miscellaneous quest to talk to Hancock, don't I? That might... Oh, no, that might override. They might conflict with one another. Oh, no. Well, let's go ahead. Well, it auto-saved there, but still, it's quick save just in case. And I guess inside, I'm hoping I don't actually have to talk to Hancock myself, that maybe uh, Murphy will start walking up to him and they'll enter a cutscene. But I have a feeling we're about to have some issues. <laughs> oh no. Need to sell some junk? Uh, Head to Daisy's discount. Where's the thing here? Oh, there we go. Okay, which is telling me to go up the stairs. Fair, fair, fair. God, I do have to talk Diamond to City. Good noodles. Bunch of assholes, though. Go, more up, more up. Come on, Larry, you're my way now. Hello? Oh, Murphy's already here. Beat us to it. I'm worried that I'm about to break something. Okay, hi, Mer or hi. Hancock. Something I can help with? Uh... Got a minute? Got a minute? Hey, old pal. Got some good news. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we managed to round up some ammo manufacturing equipment from the gunner outpost over at Mass Bay Medical. The neighborhood watch should rest a bit easier knowing they aren't shooting blanks. Mm -hmm. Then here's to a long road with plenty of ammo. We do have enough ammo, right? Uh, yeah. Once we get the manufacturing equipment up and running. Exactly. Most of the credit for the job belongs to our new friend here. Hi. More than happy to stick it to the gunners. Very true. I'm just here for the rewards and glory. I like it. Pledge was all mine. Always happy to help. You know, no, I'm always happy to shoot some gunners in the face. More than happy to stick it to the gunners. You don't know how happy that makes me. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. So, with that out of the way, you feel like grabbing a drink with us at the third rail to celebrate? Don't have time to chat. Mayoral duties and all that bull. But we'll talk again. 
Okay. I wouldn't recommend drinking from anything you find around here. Not to mention the smell. Hey, you got something against good neighbors' bars all of a sudden? Yeah, it's your town. Shouldn't speaking you, like, which, be speaking them up? Speaking of remember that time at the third rail when you were so drunk you tried to give CPR to a mannequin? Ha! Yeah, of course. I remember that. That's funny, because I don't. So why don't oh. you tell me who the fuck you really are? Ha! Okay. What are you trying to say? Show some damn respect. Hancock's got enough self-esteem. He wouldn't pretend to remember non-existent events just to appease someone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And he sure as hell wouldn't be talking shit about his own town. Yeah. Much less refusing to break bread with friends. Yeah. So answer my question. Who are you? If he's going to be a synth, I mean, I'll be sad about it. Because shouldn't I be able to just be like, yo, yo, be cool. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, what's, uh, what's going on here? What the hell is going on here? So, you gonna enlighten me here? You take one too many blows to the skull, or you just acting like this for fun? Calling it like I see it, stranger. Where's Hancock? And how long ago did you replace him? You got about two seconds to come clean. Whoa, 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 time out. You aren't talking sense. No one gets replaced in my town. Commonwealth's full enough of trouble as it is. Doesn't need you making any more of it. All right, prove it then. The last joke Hancock told me starts like this. A ghoul walks into a bar. Hmm? The bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. What does the ghoul say? I don't know. What was it again? Was I on something at the time? Wrong answer. Time to get a better look inside that head of yours. Ooh, Murphy's you about to kill him. Me? I mean, it seems to be where it's going. Ow, how dare you hit me? Oh, there are too many people in front of me. I'm going to end up shooting a friend. You know what? I'll have them handle it. Oh, yeah, it's a... Oh, no, they actually killed them. Okay, never mind. Normally, with the kill things, I've got to handle it. No one else in town is angry with us. Interesting. Oh, it's still steel, even though synth mer... Yep, synth component. Well, I mean, there we go. <laughs> Gotta take the cool coat. Yo, Murphy. <clears throat> Let me guess. You found a synth component, right? Yep, sure did. He was a synth? Uh, eh, I'm not really in shock, but how'd you know? How did you know? The mannerisms gave him away. Sarcasm's a tough personality trait for a synth to imitate. Oh. My bullshit I should tell R &D that. as soon as he started talking. First time I've ever encountered a ghoul synth, though. Yeah, that is unusual. Of which, we gotta find out what happened to the real Hancock. Help me search around for any clues. Well, I mean, I literally run the Institute. I could just give him a call and be like, hey, guys, guys, no. No. <laughs> but apparently, no, no, we can't. It's always something that saddens me in both the main game as well as in many, many mods. They never seem to take into account the fact that I'm in charge of the Institute. <laughs> Fred Allen at the hotel. Oh restaurant. well. He can hook you up with Looks like it's in here. At the memory den. Oh yeah, Sheep we got a safe. A wow, it's dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost. And well, some lovely ammo, fancy hairbrush, note from Doctor Io. It's a drug. All right, let's look at that. Read the note. Do do do. do. And then over to miscellaneous. I miss Fallout 3 in New Vegas, where notes just went into their whole own thing. <laughs> uh, there it is. Got it. Unit G788, while your ongoing objective to monitor developments around Good Neighbor and compile reports on matters of possible interest to us still stands, we have a special project requiring your urgent attention. The details are in the enclosed package. Please make this task your primary action item. The courier will be in contact shortly to collect your report. Should you require additional background information to impersonate your subject, we've moved him to Safe House J6, the secure parking garage, and we'll keep him alive for the time being. Well, that doesn't seem very institute-y. Do keep in mind that maintaining a sarcastic demeanor is vital to preserving your cover. The SRB doesn't want a repeat of the rumors surrounding the Diamond City Mayor's office. <laughs> yeah. As for standard procedure, please remember to burn this communication once you've read it. Well, they did not. This was just a really bad synth. <laughs> also, still, I mean, head of the Institute here, and it's just be like, 
Guys. No. <laughs> oh, well. All right, talk to Murphy. Oh, God, he's all the way back upstairs. Uh, up we go, up we go. And I don't still up more. Yo, Murphy! Also, it's a little dark, so a light. Hey. You find any clues? Oh, yeah, a uh, note that really shouldn't have been there. That scent should have burned it super quick. Uh, yeah, check it out. Here you go. Check it out. All right, let's see here. Okay, so Madonna's a synth. No surprise there. Oh, yeah. This paragraph makes reference to a parking structure. Seems like an odd place to keep a prisoner. Agreed. Unless... Unless... Shit. If my hunch is right, this ain't good. Uh-huh. Come on. We're taking a field trip over to West Roxbury. Okay. Well, away we go. Search the local parking garages for Hancock. All right, cool. Nifty. You know, still, yeah. just let me call in. <laughs> I am the head of the Institute in this safe file. <laughs> I can just give him a call. I'll be like, guys, guys, really? Good neighbor? Come on now. I've got my own things going. Stop it. <laughs> but no, but no. Where are we going? Hmm? Am I blind? Oh, there it is down there. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, ooh. We'll go to Fairline. Yeah. The other area is too much crawling with the uh, super mutants. Granted, we're heading over there anyways, because we got to go to that parking garage. But, oh boy, if we're searching multiple, it's going to take multiple parking garages, isn't it? We're going to be going all around the Commonwealth today, aren't we? Ooh, seriously, just let me call in. We could teleport to the Institute right now. We can talk to him be like, hey, guys, give me the info and just, just let Hancock go. <laughs> Oh, uh, well... Oh, Yagwai! Oh, let's forget you exist here. All right. Well, let's roll. No use looting him. It's just Yagwai meat. Oh, God, another Yagwai! I forgot there's two. <laughs> I forgot there's two. <laughs> All right, let's roll. And... Parking around. Well, not detecting any sense with vats. Doors up at the front. Hostile sensor reading. Oh, hey, sense. Oh, come on. How are you guys hostile to me? We're bros. I'm in charge of you. <laughs> How are they hostile? Quiet. We'll get to you in a moment. All right. Open up. Now you're really gonna get you know what? I'll let them deal with the suicider. Okay, never mind. It's getting real close. It's getting real close. Oh, God! Stay in your lane, pal. There we go. Another suicider died, though. Oh, God. There's another one? Yeah, not anymore. Alarios took that straight in the face, didn't he? Huh. Dang. Nice job, Alarios. Yeah, I should have just gone for the Super Mutants first. Didn't think about it. I was just going to go inside and deal with the synths, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. Take him down. Oh, it's, oh, Harley's down. She couldn't take the, uh, she couldn't take the mini nuke to the face. <laughs> Hilarious could, though. All right, come on, come on, come on. There we go. He's dead now. All right, now I just got to deal with those guys. Get through all this. Uh, can't we just... Real tempted to n just no clip up there. <laughs> no, no, let's make it through here. All right, follow the arrows, because I'm hoping that's the actual way through. Yeah, why are the Synth angry at me? <laughs> I'm their boss. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Okay, yep, no, that wasn't the way through. That wasn't the way through. Are you attempting an ambush? Hmm. We're going to find another way up. <laughs> I don't remember anything of you, and I don't feel like dealing with that. <laughs> well, let's go this way first, I guess. Oh, I hit a trap. Oh, well. Oh. Well. Die, Rad Riches. Got a lot of you. Alright, where's another way up? <laughs> How do we get to that door? 
How do we get to that door? There's also that way over there. Oh, ho, 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 stairs, yes. Okay, let's go this way. We got some more super mutants around, but oh well. Oh god, is the path over here going to be blocked off? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, not so far. Please don't be barred. Please don't be barred. That's yeah, barred. I hear something. Well, there's still more up. Maybe we can get on the roof. And <laughs> well, now can we make our way down? I n I've it's been so long since I've come to this place. Usually, when we're here, we either go to the hospital or are just passing through. It's it's been a very long time since I've had to you deal with this parking out, garage. Really? Crap, it's part two! Son of a... <laughs> Please stand still. This one's gonna be barred as well, isn't it? Oh, that's just... That's just straight up... St oh, no. Oh, God. How it's the... Yeah. Ow. What's the code thing, then, that we've gotta do? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, then we gotta go through this one of those. Yeah, 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 and then you're gonna do that, and then... Hey, never mind, we're good. Holy crap, I got it in one go. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Did I actually somehow remember that in my, in the depths of my consciousness? Or was it luck? I'm going with luck, most likely. Let's be honest there. Alright, up we go to the synths that really shouldn't be angry at me, but are. For reasons. I just set off a trap. Oh, oh God! What I tell you, we got Freaking things. Ooh, that's a lot of monkeys. That's a lot. That's too many monkeys. Oh, that's... At least I saw these. <laughs> there we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect, we're good. Holy crap, look at all the free grenades. Nice. <laughs> all of them, oh, no, one more here. We got a lot of grenades now, damn. Oh, jewel. <laughs> This is like the worst place for me, considering how often I accidentally set off traps because I'm oblivious as hell. Oh boy! All right, where am I going? Where am I going? That rocket scared the crap out of me. Please lower your weapon. Oh, I see a trap. Where's the tripwire? I don't see the tripwire anywhere. Also, it's really awkwardly pointed. If possible. What could it possibly hit? Alright, uh, no, no, hey. You know, I'm just not gonna go there. Just not gonna go there. Let's just turn around. I'm lost. Oh, Synth! We found our way! Oh, it's gonna be fun How dare you betray me, Synth! How dare you! I'm gonna decommission all of you. Reload. Yes, how dare you attack me! The head! The head of the Institute! You fools! Oh god, ghouls! Okay, okay, okay. No, oh, that bounced off there. Come on, give a girl a break, will ya? Okay, that's a lot of ghouls, and I got a lot of grenades. <laughs> Don't get anything? Oh, oh it's, a, it's a bloated glowing one. I'm killing it with grenades, cause I can. Cause we have so many of them that we picked up. Okay, he's down. Did it! Also, boy, I should really probably get rid of that radiation. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I just remembered? I added Radaway to my favorites list. Uh, oh well, we're already in here, it's impact too. <laughs> All right, let's keep rolling. Where's the next traitor of a synth? 
Oh, it's fighting a ghoul. You know what? We'll let this finish. Yeah, I mean, you're really not. You're a traitor, so I'll just let this pan out. Oh, Hilarious is joining the fray. Oh, he's... Who's he attacking? He's attacking the synth. Well, die synth. Or not synth, a ghoul. <laughs> oh, man, that ghoul took out two synths. Good job. Alright, alright, I'm just gonna, gonna ignore you, and then, and then just... And then, and there we go, and then, and then we go over here. Unbar you for the future. Shotgun shells, heck yeah. Uh, well, I mean... Yeah, kinda figured. <laughs> With the question mark and all, I figured. I figured. Give that a moment. There we go, I'm out. Yep, should've just gone this way from the get-go. Looks like these synths set off some of the traps. Foolish synths! Oh, Murphy teleported in. Yo! If I the synth guards are dead, then talk to Hancock. Oh no, we got a thing here that's gonna kill him. We're gonna quick save. Yeah, the synths are dead. Yo, Hancock, sorry about this. There was some rogue synths in my organization. <clears throat> Here comes my kind of trouble. Not a bad way to make an entrance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah. How did you end up in there? I don't know. You ever wonder if maybe you're a synth and don't know it? I got a lot of time I can't account for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you okay? Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, yep. Tell me a joke. So a ghoul walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. Ghoul says, that's fine. Is the human fresh? Yeah, that's definitely the right guy. Uh-huh, got Good it. Good to see you again, old buddy. You gonna be all right? Not my first time ending up next to a trash heap. Won't be my last. Let's focus on what's next. So, Hancock, to bring you up to speed, we've been busy. Very busy. Morowski's dead. The trigger men are under control, Hotel Rexford is being renovated, and the neighborhood watch is now manning the sniper perches. We've got ammo manufacturing capability, and most of the random hoodlums infesting Good Neighbor are taking dirt naps. You're welcome. We managed to kill the synth the Institute tried to replace you with, but I got some bad news about your brother McDonough. So the Institute replaced him with a synth after all. Oh yeah. How many years was I angry at that bastard for the wrong reasons? <laughs> Ball lost someone that's life. You gotta be careful. You never know who you can trust these days. Everyone's got the shit they gotta deal with. See how you feel. I lost someone too. You know, I gotta be careful. Who knows? You all might be palling around with the actual head of the institute here. <laughs> gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. Was always told I'd hit rock bottom. Not sure this is what they meant. <laughs> Was the guy I grew up with the amoral piece of trash who gave the ghouls the boot? Or was that just some synth making a play for the city? I mean, can it be both? <laughs> uh, let's see, which one to go with? Yeah, I'll go with this one. Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? When I'd first heard the rumors he'd been swapped for a synth, thinking back on that night... I thought it made a lot of sense. All the pain, the fear, the loss the Institute's inflicted. Time we return the favor. Hey now, hey now. I'm kind of in charge of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I am the head of the Institute after all here. <laughs> I think you're getting carried away. Let's think about this for a second. The way I see it, we respond in kind. No more, no less. How's this gonna pan out for the me? The Institute tried <laughs> to take out our guy in Good Neighbor, so we take out their guy in Diamond City. Smart. Sometimes you just gotta murder a guy. <laughs> Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. How do we do this without raising suspicion? Let's start with what we know. First, McDonough's a synth. Uh -huh. Second, He's not a particularly popular mayor outside the upper stands. True. And third, if the Institute was sending couriers to check up on Hancock's synth, 
Odds are they're probably doing the same with McDonough. Mm -hmm. Where are you going with this? We can't barge into Diamond City, guns blazing. Security would have a field day with us. Yeah, I could take them. The only way this works is if we can get the Diamond City Council, the security forces, and the general population on our side. This seems to be becoming a large failure. If we failure. show them mm -hmm. irrefutable proof that McDonough is a synth who's actively spying for the Institute, they're more likely to look the other way when we kill him. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Could you be more specific? If you pose as an Institute courier sent by this I.O. guy, we might get McDonough to slip up and confess. Specifically, you take an audio recorder with you and pretend you're there to collect a report. Get McDonough alone in his office so he thinks he can open up. Then record him admitting to being a synth and working for the Institute. Once you've got the recording, shoot the motherfucker. <laughs> Show the recording to someone on the Diamond City Council and they can take it from there. Hey, if I thought for a second that would work, I would have tried. Yeah, but our friend here isn't a ghoul. That gives this plan at least a fighting chance. Besides, you got a better idea? Well, I... Uh, I guess you got a good point. So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? If you can sell being an Institute courier, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Good neighbor would rest a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. Just reference I.O. and some confidential info about synths from that letter. Hopefully that's enough to get you in. I'll give you the recorder, too. Put it in your pocket and try to stand close to McDonough when he's talking. Okay, okay. Uh, very large problem with your plan, though, here. Uh, the Institute is occupying Diamond City right now because I sided with them in the main game. So there's Institute flags flying. There's, you know, synths walking around just convincing the people that the mayor is a synth I ain't gonna really pan out there considering they're already occupied <laughs> so... <laughs> but I mean uh, what else anything else I should know there's rumors of a strong room underneath the Diamond City mayor's office might be worth looking for a way in while you're there <laughs> what if I get caught hey you're resourceful I'm sure you'll think of something mm hmm Hey. I'm ready to get to work. I like where your head's at. I'll head for home then. Good luck. Well, so we've been I'm having this conversation while you have flamethrowers pointed to you. I'll meet you back at the state house in Good Neighbor when it's done. And thanks again, friend. No problem, Murphy. But yeah, we've been having this whole conversation while he's still locked in the cage with flamethrowers pointing at him. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, there's some, uh. Oh, boy. I mean, hmm. We are the head of the Institute. I'm hoping there's some options we may have to maybe screw over Murphy in this, but maybe secretly? But I'm guessing no. I'm guessing this is just not taking into account in any way, shape, or form the fact that I am the head of the Institute. <laughs> so, um... Well, we'll see about that, though, next episode. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this one, and you do come back for the next, where, boy, things will occur. But until that time, thank you for watching. As always, we'll have a good one.